Hi guys, here is Barrio, a designer and R&D engineer for additive manufacturing. What I want to talk about today is the problem of stress concentration in lattice structures. With the continuous development of the additive manufacturing industry, lattice structure design has been widely used. It has applications in industrial field, aerospace, defense, sports, medical device, and luxury wear. However, for structural applications such as rocket landing legs, prosthetics, tools, and fixtures, the mechanical properties of the lattice structure are very important. If the lattice structure is accidentally damaged, it can cause machine failure or even death. In this video, I will show you how to optimize the lattice design to reduce stress concentration. Also, I will explain how it works. Lattice structures are usually connected with solid and strong features like beams, walls, or shells. This could control the exact areas for lightweighting or strengthening to connect with functional exterior. Tensile testing is a common method to obtain some basic mechanical properties. Therefore, doing the tensile tests with lattice design specimens is a simple way to verify the mechanical properties of lattice structures. There are standards for metal tensile testing like STM E8, but it is for solid specimens. Nevertheless, there are currently no standards for lattice specimens. That is why you could find various lattice specimen designs in papers. Due to the different fixtures in the testing machine, the design of the specimen ends is also different. Therefore, the type of the end depends on the machine. The purpose of the tensile testing is to study the stress concentration problem of the lattice structure. So, I'm going to focus on the tensile area design. Step 1. Basic Connection If the tensile area is replaced from solid body to lattice structure, we can see the difference between them. Through the simple replacement, the lattice structure connects to the ends directly. In the static simulation of normal loading, the stress map shows where the stress concentrations happen in red. The highlighted points are filtered from the stress map by a specific stress value and represent extreme stress concentrations. The stress concentrations occur almost everywhere, especially at the connections to the ends. The reason for the concentration phenomena at the connections is that the cross-sectional area changes massively. Lattice is a highly porous structure that usually does not have a large cross-sectional area. Nevertheless, the solid ends do. When the cross-sectional area changes sharply, energy and stress cannot be transferred smoothly, and the stress concentration occurs. Step 2. Smooth cross-sections In the design standards about metal tensile specimens, there are definitions for the necking feature. Usually, it is defined with radius to transfer the load smoothly. Therefore, we can design the latest specimens with this concept. The method I use is the field-driven function of NTOP, a powerful engineering design software. I could design the latest structure with geometric change thickness by field-driven design. The thickness of the lattice structure can change smoothly and gradually. The closer it is to the end, the thicker it will be. Also, the cross-sectional area changes gradually. We could see from the highlighted points that the stress concentration at the end has been eliminated. It proves that the method works effectively. Step 3. Rounded Connection this part is important for lattice specimen design. Although we smooth the cross sections in step 2, the actual connection is still sharp. This is a potential risk for additive manufacturing. 
With laser powder bed fusion, many thermal stress concentrations occur when printing. These sharp features will further activate the risk. A common way to solve the problem of thermal stress concentration is to design fillets and chamfers. This could help with step 2 as well. Therefore, combining step 2 and step 3 can avoid risks in production and testing. Step 4. Advanced Improvement After the steps above, the stress concentrations should be limited in the tensile area. This is much more reasonable and logical for tensile testing. I think it is acceptable to utilize in industry. But could it be better? The highlighted points were filtered by a specific stress value. If we set the value as the failure standard in structures, these areas are still vulnerable and easily broken. Therefore, improving these areas for perfection is the next goal that we should put the efforts into. The first method for tensile area improvement is to fillet the latest structure. Using the smoothen body block could easily help you achieve this goal. You could see that the lattice connections on the vertices become smooth and thick. This is a simple method to directly improve the performance. The second method is quite complex, but not difficult to understand. Create spheres with suitable radius at the lattice vertices. Then use the Boolean union block with suitable blend radius and blend type to merge the lattice body and spheres. Both methods have some caveats. The first method with filleting does reduce the strut diameter lightly, because the smoothen body block works to the entire lattice structure. If the error is not acceptable, we can still use the offset body block to modify its strut diameter. The second method using spheres does not affect the original lattice structure. Nevertheless, while lattice structure becomes large and complex, there may be millions or more vertices. It takes too long to run the rendering and model calculation. We can actually deactivate the visibility of the created spheres. We then convert the spheres into surface meshes. The sphere is a simple model, so the meshing process can be pretty fast. Finally, we merge the meshes and convert it back to the implicit body. After completing all steps, the model should now render and compute quickly enough. 